Welcome back, my sweet friends. Today we are doing my Easter 2023 decorate with me. I'm so excited for this and I'm happy you are here. So here on my table, I put out a bunch of my decor, things that I purchased in the previous five, six years and things I purchased this year. I went through my totes and I did find some items I thought you guys would like, things that are practically new. So if you are in the US, uh, please comment down below the keyword phrase of course you must be a subscriber like this video and follow me on instagram and facebook so those were some pillows pillow covers i didn't use and then these signs over here i have this gnome some ribbon i do have some of these eggs that i got at michael's this year so these are definitely new they still have their uh, sticker here is a ribbon that I thought you guys would like and some little figurines this sign I showed in my recent haul so this one's definitely new good luck to everyone I did keep my velvet pink pom-pom pillows love those and here are the pillows that I'm gonna use this one is my favorite oh you guys know how much I love this one so that one and this one come from a set uh, from Amazon and here are these two from another set also from Amazon, but I did get these last year If you are a friend from this channel, you know, I always go for pillow covers That pillow right there is actually from Target last year and here's my beautiful white Hobby Lobby picture I found these peachy pink roses that I had in my tote So I do want to make an arrangement with my lambs here Something like this and then I have this pick from Dollar Tree last year. It's a bunny butt. So I'm just going to stick it in here. Super cute. All right. So I'm putting a little riser underneath. And I have this beautiful sign. It does have these felt flowers popping up. That one is actually from Party City. And here's this sign, which is um, interchangeable. I got it at Amazon. It's a set of three signs. I will share that in my next haul here is this bunny i got it at marshall's 5.99 it is from this year i do have this grass bunny which you can find these almost anywhere now and then i have this he is risen beaded strand from dollar general this year again i'll link all of my hauls for this year down below here is my beautiful bunny and carrot blanket I found at Ross last year so this is going on my ladder and here on my coffee table I'm putting another one of those risers with this topiary that one's actually from Dollar General about three years ago and this heat is a risen beta strand I got from Walmart a couple of years ago I did get this beautiful egg at Ross this year there's the price I just love the detail of the flowers coming down. Here is an overview of this side of the living room. Have lots of beautiful signs and arrangements so I'm just gonna put in some clips of the signs that I have all over my house I didn't want to you know film myself putting each and every one of them because it's very time-consuming but here by the door I did want to put this beautiful cross it is wood I got it on Marshall's this year it is absolutely beautiful needless to say it's also very representative of Easter Okay, so I put a cute little background video to put myself in the mood and then I did go ahead and clean off all of my surfaces. I'm lighting up my candles. I did put my pom-pom bunny garland from Walmart a couple of years ago, although they do have it this year. 
I also left my topiaries and these white houses. To the left, I have this bunny over here. I got it at Burlington a couple of years back. I also have this sign from Dollar General that I shared this year, Easter Blessings. This one was just five. Love the beads and a little bit of that neutral look combined. In the middle, I'm just putting one sign, Happy Easter, with the bunny it has the flowers on its head. They do have a smaller version of the sign this year. To the right, I'm putting the bunny butt version of the sign and this version of the bunny sign. So kind of mirroring what I have on the left. This is one of my favorite bunnies that I have. It's so cute. Aww, super precious i got it at tj maxx last year but they may have it this year again that one has you know flowers on its head as well and then i have this egg little arrangement from dollar general a couple of years back to match the yellow i am putting this chick over here to the left with a monogram egg from dollar tree and i wanted to put a cute bunny this one's from target a couple of years back and you can see my face it's actually three dollars and if you go today you should see the size bunnies they have for three dollars it's really you know incredible ridiculous i don't know that bunny is 7.99 and then this sign is from dollar tree so that bunny has a little bit of distressing to the right i am putting this gnome I got it at TJ Maxx a couple of years back. They still have it this year because I did see it. And then this sign is actually from Michael's last year. I really do love this sign. It kind of feels like a metal enamel, you know, at the front. I do have this pink truck from Dollar General. You guys may remember this if you are a friend of the channel for various years. And then I have this Happy Easter sign i got it at uh giant here in pennsylvania i always like to keep my tall vase here by my faux fireplace i have some greenery some eucalyptus i decided to put one of these peachy pink rose uh picks and i have this bunny here with this arrangement it says welcome it's actually from burlington a couple of years back time to change my magnet so here goes the little bunny coming out of the egg now let's decorate this furniture i have this beautiful sign that i got at michael's last year i really love this sign and here is a tear tray that i'm planning to use over here this one is from target's bp a couple of years back they always come out with some uh, tear trays you know for every new release it seems this year target had these little signs for the tear tray so I'm using that carrot farm arrow sign as an inspiration for this bottom shelf. So I have the little carrot house from Dollar Tree, that bunny that I got from Goodwill, and other little cute items. Up on the top, I do have my wood rounds that I like to use as, you know, a riser or to add a bit of, uh, you know, a different texture. Here is another sign from that set from Amazon that I told you guys about. Again, I will share all the details in my future haul. That bunny is from Dollar General. Last year, I have this pink truck from Dollar General. They do have some this year. This Beta Strand is also from Dollar General a couple of years back. I'm happy I finally found a tear tray little arc window. Here it is. This is how this side of the house turned out.
like to add a bit of decor here on top of my bookcase. I have this sign from Burlington from previous years. Happy Easter. I have this arrangement from Family Dollar. I'm sure you guys already know it. I did use it for Valentine's Day and for my spring decor. Here I have some candles. I have a bunny gnome. The yellows and pinks of the gnome complements the yellows and pinks of that peony and the candles. To add more warmth, I'm putting a lantern on each side. Nothing too complicated, but it still looks very pretty. Let's move on. If you saw my haul, you might recognize this beautiful runner. It matches my favorite pillow that I currently have on my couch. So I'm putting it across this furniture piece. And then this beautiful beaded bunny sign is from Walmart this year. One of my favorite purchases that I got, you know, this year. So, so pretty. Love the bunny with the flower uh, arrangement on its head. I have my Walmart lantern. This egg topiary is from Target's Bullseye's Playground in the previous years. This bunny head arrangement is from Target's Dollar Spot this year. And then I have this cute bunny. I got it at Marshall's this year for $12.99. I have lots of white bunnies, but not a lot of, you know, brown bunnies. So I thought it complemented that bunny sign. Here on my doble, I put my filler. I put the wooden eggs along with these speckled dusty pink and these eggs over here. In the middle, I'm adding one of these Dollar General beaded strands that I got this year. I'm just trying to hide the string a little bit. To mirror the height of the lantern to the left, I'm using this tiered tray over here. I have the Hobby Lobby riser that I got on sale along with this sign from Target's Bullseye's Playground. This arrow is from Dollar General this year. It says Happy Easter. I do have a bottle brush carrot tree from Target. This is actually a shaker, but I use it as decor. I got it at Burlington a few days ago. I do have this ladder that comes in another set from Amazon. Along with that set came some of these cute signs that I will be using all over my house. So I did want to use a riser so, you know, it wouldn't be covered. I have this uh, bunny gnome. I believe it's from Dollar General. This sign is from Dollar General this year. Every bunny welcome. And I have a blue truck from Dollar General as well. Like I said earlier, they do have some trucks this year. I think they are in a different color though. Okay, so I'm just putting some of these speckled eggs here and there to, you know, fill up any spaces that I see. I want to take this time to introduce myself to anyone who just happened to stumble upon my video. If you love seasonal decor videos, hauls, shop with me, decorate with me videos, then subscribe. I don't want you guys to miss out on any future videos that I have, you know, in mind. I'm so excited. We all love seasonal decor here, so if you are one of those, press that subscribe button and that bell. Love this egg sign for Marshalls this year. That arrangement is from Dollar General, and that sign with the cross is actually from Dollar Tree. At the bottom, I did put a lantern and my neutral gnome from TJ Maxx. This bunny sign is from Ross, and this is how this turned out. Love it. After wiping everything down, I put my lamb's ear garland. I am keeping my riser from Target. I have this bird cage that they have currently in their dollar spot. 
I added some greenery and my cute bunnies that I got at Target in some previous years. I also added one of these wooden eggs to tie, you know, all the decor together that I currently have out. I wanted to pick out the greenery. All right, so these are the signs that are my inspiration for this tear tray. I did get them on Etsy. I did share them in my previous haul video. So I'm just, you know, trying to test out which one I want at the top, which one I want at the bottom, and kind of where I'm going to place them. So I'm thinking that's how it's going to be. All right, so now let's start adding things. I added a pink carrot bottle brush tree from Target. I wanted to add some filler in the back. So I have a little creamer or pitcher. I have a lantern, another one of those carrot trees. This bunny over here is actually from Dollar General last year. I'm adding a white house. I have one of these eggs that were a gift from a subscriber. Thank you. I have a little bunny. This is actually from Dollar General. They always come out with some cute bunnies for tear trays over there. Okay, that succulent is from Target's Dollar Spot. I added a ladder. I tried it on the left as well, but you're going to see I put it back towards the right because, you know, I don't know, it just looked kind of weird over here on the left. This cross is actually from Walmart this year. It says, He is risen or Happy Easter. So I did keep it on the Happy Easter side since the top says He is risen already. So there you see the ladder keeps falling. So now it's back to the right. I thought I needed a little bit of more color down here at the bottom level. So I did add that He is risen sign from Dollar General along with more of their bunnies so this one's holding a purple tulip and the other one has a carrot to tie everything together i'm adding more of these wooden eggs over here along with the other filler which i did get from marshall's if you're wondering it's by martha stewart all right here is this bead of sign that says he is risen in the middle, I do have these signs that I want to use. One says he is risen with the cross and this one says happy Easter. This one's from Dollar General. So I'm not too sure about the placement. I might move that he is risen sign to the right of the bird cage. But anyway, I did add this bead of strand from Dollar Tree actually. Nice and simple. At the bottom, this is a beautiful sign that I got at Michael's last year. I love it so much. Again, it's kind of like a metal sign. So that one's going here in the center. Now, I did get lots of questions and, you know, requests to show how I was going to use this basket uh, bunny decor piece I got at Marshall's this year. So this is what I thought to do because of what that sign says. It says garden market. So I'm putting lots of carrots inside. So I decided to put more of the bright orange at the bottom. These over here look a little bit nicer. It says happy Easter on that wooden tag. And then I have these muted carrots that are from Target's dollar spot this year. So those are plaid. And then I'm adding more of these eggs that were a gift from a subscriber. Chris, thank you. Thank you so much. So I took off the little ribbon because these are supposed to be ornaments. And this one over here says he is risen. So that's what I came up with. And I really do love how it came out. Super cute. On the left, I decided to use this bunny. She has a basket full of eggs. She looks like she's ready to go to the market or if she came back from the market. And then to add a pop of orange to the left, I'm adding some more carrots that I have. But I did end up adding something else that you will see in just a second.
if you are wondering that crosses from big lots i did get it a couple of years back but they keep bringing it out again so i did see it this year all right now it's time to move on to the kitchen i had another one of these bunny pom-pom garlands so i did put it under my cabinets i'm just doing a quick wipe down here scrubbing um, some of the walls over here if they have you know any stains or anything but i do try to keep up with the cleaning here in my kitchen I'm putting my beaded riser that I got from Target recently in their bow size playground dollar spot. I have my utensil holders with these wooden floral utensils that were a gift from a subscriber. I did find a bunny spatula guys at Marshall's. It has flowers. These are the cutting boards or charcuterie boards that I hauled recently from Target's dollar spot. I have my oil dispenser from Burlington and then my beautiful macaron bunny that I got I think last year or two years ago. They do have it this year again with you know I think some chocolate macarons or a little bit shinier but I'm so in love with this one. I have this pink bowl from Hobby Lobby that I got during uh, Valentine's Day. In my haul I shared these filler eggs that look like chocolate so i thought this was a cute idea the filler comes with some solid ones and then these that have kind of that chocolate drizzled over super cute my shakers are from target hearth and hen and then i have this butterfly cookie cutter that i'm setting right here I do have this basket that was a gift from my mom. It's a carrot ceramic basket. So cute. So I'm just putting some vegetables. And now I brought out all of the things that I'm planning to use on my coffee bar. Everything is pre-washed. You guys know. So in this little canister that I got from Ross this year, I'm putting my sugar. So that one's a mini of that big one that you're going to see in a second. I found these cute bunny marshmallows at TJ Maxx. They taste so good. And look, they have a cute ribbon tie, which is what I put on this canister from my Valentine's Day edition of um, marshmallows. So I do like to keep those. So this is what they look like. They're pink and white and they taste so yummy. Seriously. So I'm putting that inside this little canister. This one's from um, Dollar Tree if you don't recognize it, although I'm sure you guys do. They had these during Valentine's Day. It was such a nice find. I thought the pink would still go nice with all of these cute items. I do have some extra marshmallows, so I'm just gonna tie those up. There's the price if you're wondering, $4.99. So I decided to put it in this bunny canister that I got from Ross last year. There we go, nice and cute. So in my big bunny canister from Ross, I didn't have time to go to Target, but I did go after filming this, and this is what I'm putting inside. It's the confetti crunch. It's basically, you know, the pretzels covered with chocolate. They taste so, so yummy. All right, so for my coffee station, I hung up my Cottontail Candy Company sign that my husband helped me fix up. I got it from Christmas Tree Shop. It was nice and simple, but my husband did some vinyl stickers on it to make it look cute. I have my Dollar Tree signs that I'm putting on both sides. I'm putting my Ray Dunn Bunny Treats canister that I got recently. So cute. Here is my marshmallow canister. So here is the bunny that goes along with the other shaker that I got from Burlington. And I'm adding this marshmallow cup that was a gift from a subscriber. Thank you, Michelle. All right, here is my favorite mug that I got this year. It's from Joe Ann's. It is so beautiful. Another one of my favorite mugs is this one here. He is not here. He has risen just as he said. This one I got from Burlington a couple of years back. That Bible verse is perfect for Easter and all year around, of course. Bloom Where You Are Planted is a Dollar Tree mug. And then I have this mug that I got from Target a couple of years back. It says, Hop to It. 
Okay, let's move on down. Just cleaning it lightly. It's not too dirty because, again, I like to keep up with my cleaning as much as I can, of course. I'm setting down this pink bunny head tray that I got at TJ Maxx. And then I have my cute bunny gingerbread cookie decor. So cute. I love it so much. I got it this year. It was $9.99. Such a cute find. Of course, I want to add a tear tray over here. Another cute find from this year is my cupcake. It does light up. And I thought it looked very cute with the bunny gingerbread guy there. Love how this looks. Alright, so I'm pulling out all of the little decor things that I want to use. Those mugs are from Etsy. Here's another sign from that Amazon set. That set came with a lot of stuff, guys. Okay, so here's my riser. I have this little creamer that I'm setting on top. You guys know that I adore these beautiful ceramic measuring spoons. They have bunnies. Those are from Target's Dollar Spot a couple of years back. I'm adding my little canister with my sugar. That's from Ross, if I didn't mention it earlier. And then I have my Etsy um, cute mugs. The one I'm holding has marshmallows. And then the other one has a heart-shaped concha bread. So cute. So I'm just accommodating these things. The sign says cotton candy, chocolates, etc. I'm adding this little canister down here. I have another bowl of the Hobby Lobby set. And I added more of these chocolate looking uh, faux eggs. I have more of my marshmallow cups. I wanted to add another sign that comes from that set from Amazon. It's a cutting board sign that says Happy Easter. Over here on my shelves, I have some leftover to-go cups and sleeves. Here are my little canisters that I'm adding. I have this mug, cute as a bunny with the bunny butt topper. I got it at Ross this year. I'm adding my marshmallow cup to the left. I'm just putting in some of these solid chocolate eggs. On the bottom, I'm adding my Cottontails Candy Cafe Jelly Beans Mason Jar sign from Dollar Tree and my canister. And here's how this turned out. Love it, guys. I didn't find any cute pot holders, oven mitts this year or towels, so I'm going to reuse the ones that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Decorate with me. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. A big virtual hug. Goodbye.